Hello everyone. I hope everybody is doing well and looking forward to the weekend. It's Saturday, so time for a new fossil. Another dinosaur and another spinosaurid tooth and another dinosaur from Laos. This is a tooth from Ichthyovenator. So unfortunately, these two teeth are not in the best condition. They are both quite small, both have wear and tear and have slight damage to the tips. The middle one here also has a section missing from the back. The damage is because of just how hard the matrix is there, meaning many teeth are damaged upon extraction. But they are pretty rare, most on the market are sourced from one collector who goes there. As with other spinosaurid teeth, these are conical in shape with striations along the side. Now these ichthyovenator teeth have thicker striations on the side than Suchomimus teeth or Spinosaurus teeth. They are typically straight, without a backwards curve, though I have seen photos of larger teeth that do curve backwards. Also, the teeth don't have denticles the way Suchomimus and Baryonyx teeth do. Now, let's talk about Ichthyovenator itself. This dinosaur is little understood, with few fossils of it found. The holotype skeleton was incomplete, lacking the skull and limbs. But from the remains that have been found, along with what we know of other spinosaurids, scientists have managed to piece together parts of the Ichthyovenator's story. It was smaller than Suchomimus, Baryonyx and Spinosaurus, measuring 8.5 metres in length and weighing an estimated 2 tonnes so still quite a sizeable dinosaur. As mentioned, Ichthyovenator is from Laos, rather an unusual location. We touched upon Laos dinosaurs a couple of weeks ago, looking at a Siam raptor tooth. This is from the same formation, the Gress superiors formation in Laos. But whereas Siam raptor occupied the land-based alpha predator ecological niche, Ichthyovenator like other spinosaurids, was a fish eater. So, pricing. A few years ago, these teeth would have been near impossible to get, likely fetching an extremely high price. But they are entering the market now, which means they are available to get, and for reasonable prices. You can pick up one like this for around $100. This one was purchased from the Fossil Emporium, which I found has Ichthyovenator teeth for the best price today. So that's it for this tooth. I will be back next week with a new tooth. I hope it will be Majungasaurus if the tooth arrives in time. Thanks for listening and take care.